Hi guys, today we're taking a look around Hobby Lobby to get some spring inspiration. I've been thinking about spring for a while now and ever since I added in some pinks for Valentine's Day, I'm ready to begin switching up my home and transitioning from winter to spring decor. After we're finished browsing, let's meet back at my house and I'll show you what I bought and how I styled the items that I found. The first place I always begin is in the floral section. Hobby Lobby is my go-to for florals that look authentic at a good price point, especially when they're marked at 40% off. There were so many options to choose from, whether you enjoy a more monochromatic look or if you're looking for a bold color choice for the spring season. I recently got a lot of questions about these neutral baby's breath, so I thought I'd feature them along with some other beautiful color options that I've used in my home. Faux florals are a great way to add a touch of texture and softness to your home that you can use year after year. And with so many color options and stem styles, creating a unique look with affordable choices is a fun way to get creative and freshen up your home for each season. Candles are a staple in my home, and in addition to my Velabox candle subscription, I love to add in decorative jar candles to create a warm and welcoming feeling all throughout my space. I love the sleek look of these candles that have various scents, but all keep within that same minimal and elegant look. Pillar candles with structural details are a great way to add some visual interest to your shelf styling. If you're into more of a decorative touch, these embossed glass jar candles are beautiful. and I always love the look of a frosted glass candle to create even more of an elevated feel. I love to see what new artwork they have for the upcoming season. There were some really beautiful options that were on trend for the season, whether you have a neutral or moody home or somewhere in between. This black floral print on frayed fabric would look great in a modern home or even as a statement piece in a modern organic home. And I loved this neutral block print for a softer, lighter look.
Whenever you visit Hobby Lobby, be on the lookout for their deeply discounted home decor clearance sections. The time that I was in store, they had some really great prices on items that were marked at 75% off and even up to 90% off. I'm on the hunt for a statement vase that I can use year round and Hobby Lobby is the place to look, especially when they have their 50% off sale. With the spring approaching, it's a great time to update and change up some of the woven textures in your house. Hobby Lobby always has a great selection of beautiful baskets and trays that would complement any home decor style. I'm thinking about my front porch and how I want to change it up for the spring, so I headed to the outdoor rug section, and there were some really cute options for doormats. The outdoor pillows were some of the best I've seen at Hobby Lobby. These embroidered spring flower print ones were really cute. And if you're looking for more of a modern touch, these pattern prints in darker colors would really elevate an outdoor space. Now I know this mirror is not necessarily a spring item, but I thought it was really beautiful. I love the light wood tone of the frame and how large it was. After checking out the mirror section, I headed over to the little odds and ends section where of course they have such adorable little figurines that will help you enhance your spring decor. So I always love taking a look at what the stores have when spring is approaching. It's fun to see all the new items and what's trending and just kind of what's out there. And I really was kind of looking for spring and moving into summer decor, but I think I ended up kind of being on a, just a neutral everyday home decor kick because everything I bought, as you'll see as we go through this haul, kind of looks very neutral, very easy to use in any season. If you're someone that doesn't change things up every time a new season or a new holiday comes around, then you might like items like this. And I definitely need more of this type of thing. I always change my home. I'm kind of addicted to it. Uh, so a lot of people ask me like, how do you do all this? How do you constantly change your home and make it different? Like I could never keep up with that. And I think if I wasn't enjoying it so much, I absolutely would understand how that would seem a little overboard, but I really do enjoy it. I really like it. I love getting creative. Some people paint, some people draw, and for me, I use my creativity in my home. So um, don't feel like you have to do that. That's not something that is expected from anyone. Of course, your home is your home and it should be decorated when you see fit and how you see fit. But for me, this is just a fun, creative outlet and hobby. So. I wanted to share with you the items that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. They did have some great items in store for spring and I'm definitely looking into some outdoor decor because I love changing up my front porch. I haven't purchased anything for that yet, but I want to take you through some of these items. So I have to start with my favorite piece. You guys saw me in the art section and I was kind of oogling over that print that had the black linen on the inside. I thought that was so pretty. It isn't quite right for my home. I like to keep things kind of light because I do have that big 
piece of furniture back there that's kind of heavy and so everything else around it I like to keep light that way it's not too much in that one corner my house is pretty small so having a lot of dark furniture really wouldn't work um, and that includes dark decor as well but when I came across this one I thought this would be perfect and a lot of you guys saw me really enjoying this one in store too I thought this was a great deal when I got it it was 40% off so you know you always want to wait until things go on sale at Hobby Lobby but this one was a really good one that I think can be used for the spring, for the summer. This is good everyday wall art. I'm probably going to be using this over on my nine drawer cabinet leaning against my mirror. I typically do have something used in that way. But one of the things that I really liked about it was it does have some darker colors in the pattern, which is going to help draw the eye up and sort of blend in with the dark cabinet underneath. So excited to see how this one is going to sort of blend in that area. So you guys, recently in a video, I talked about Hobby Lobby's clearance. And when I was there, they had things at 75 and some items even at 90% off. And I thought that was a great way to sort of fill in some of the holes in my decor and not spend a ton of money. So I ended up picking up this bowl and it's funny because i had been eyeing this bowl for a really long time i thought this was beautiful when i first saw it i love this scalloped edging on it i think this is so beautiful and very very trendy the color and the texture is just so pretty too great for spring great for summer just an all-around neutral piece originally this one was $34.99. Now, undoubtedly, it was in a collection, so it was marked at 40% off for a lot of the time it was on the shelves, but I grabbed mine for $3.49. So I really, really think this is a great deal, and I can't wait to maybe style this up on a coffee table on a stack of books. I love this bowl. Now, something else that I really didn't have a lot of were little items that can be used for layering pieces. So talking about maybe a stack of books and then something on top, I was looking for something that had that warm sort of neutral aesthetic. And so when I came across this little lidded bowl on the Hobby Lobby clearance, I thought this was a great deal. Now, it's really cute just the way it is. It could be used as a trinket box if you wanted to. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it in this neutral color because it is really pretty. I think this would be great for spring, especially have like a earthy or even a coastal vibe in your home. This would be great for that. But this one was only $2.99 and I thought that was great because originally it was $29.99. So 90% off, you can't go wrong with something like this. When you see items like this in the clearance, definitely grab them up because they go fast but also they can be used year round so very excited to work this one in now another item that was there in the clearance section was this really cute small vase i loved the ribbing or like the texturing on this this is just a small one it's not really large and it has a very small opening as well originally it was $17.99 but i did grab it for $1.79 so again 90 percent off this is great you could put like as a bud vase, you could put like a little floral in here, but you can also use this for shelf styling and just leave it as is, place it on top of a stack of books again. There's so many different ways that you can use just these little pottery pieces. And this color is really beautiful. It's brown, but it has almost like an ombre look to it because the top is darker than the bottom. And so a little bit of variation in color creates a little bit more visual interest. I think they're a great addition to the collection. And that's something that I've been trying to do is just build up my collection of everyday decor. So that's kind of what I've got going on here today. Now, this one was not in the clearance section, but it was in the basket section, which was at the time I was in store, 50% off and I was really drawn to this structural basket. I loved the whitewash on it. I thought it had a little bit more of like a summer vibe, almost beachy, maybe slightly coastal. I'm not exactly sure if that's going to fit what I'm going for in my home, but I just really loved it and sometimes when you're in store and you see all of these items that are trendy and you you kind of want to like them I don't know if you guys go through this but like with trends for example blue blue is trending and it's very pretty but I don't really like blue that much I don't have much blue in my home and I'm finding myself the year, this year trying really hard to like blue and you shouldn't have to try that hard if I see blue items that I like I'll pick them up but so far, it really hasn't been that many items in blue that have really caught my eye and spoke to me. So when you see an item like this, 
grab it. This one for me was like, oh, come home with me, please. I love this basket. So um, this one would be great for um, like an entryway table. You can toss your keys and sunglasses in as you come in the house. Um, but just again, everyday neutral decor, light and pretty and great for summer and spring. Um, this one originally was $16.99, but I did get it at half off. So check out their basket section if you're looking to change up some of your woven textures for the warmer months. Now, a while back, I saw on Jenna Pierce's channel, I think it was Jenna Pierce. I love watching all of these different home decor channels and sometimes I forget who showed what. Um, but she had mentioned that she picked these up at Hobby Lobby before they had gone on clearance. This was um, back in the summer last year, I believe. And I am a sucker for hobnail. I love anything with this texture on it, but this really caught my eye when she showed it because of the beautiful coloring. It's got like this deep sort of beige taupe look to it that I think would go perfectly in my home. This one was $3.49 on clearance. Originally it was $34.99. So again, that's a great savings. And I did see a smaller one. I was almost going to pick up the both sets, but, oh, actually, as I'm thinking about it, this was the smaller one. The larger one was $11.49. Um, but I thought that the sizing was a little bit too similar because the larger one was not that much larger. So I just went with this one. I thought this would be great for like my little coffee area if I were to switch over to coffee pods or to put sugar in here. Um, I just really like this. And again, if you see things in store that you really like, you should grab it, especially when you can get it at such a great deal. When we're talking neutral items, you can move them around your house very easily and I think I will be able to do that with this. So the last item that I picked up at Hobby Lobby is something I've been on the hunt for for quite a long time and I just haven't found the right color, the right shape, and the right price point to fit what I was looking for. So when I came across this vase at Hobby Lobby, this one checked all the boxes. The coloring is absolutely gorgeous. Now originally it was, I want to say $54.99. I already have it styled in my house so I took the tag off. But I want to say it was $54.99, but it was 50% off when I grabbed it. I love this color. This brown is just beautiful. This would be great for summer, for spring, going into fall. The color is perfect. It's neutral. It's warm. I love that caramel color that's kind of mixed in with that neutral. And the fact that it is a tall vase, this is pretty substantial. I really don't have any vases like this or any items um, substantial like this in my home. And, you know, one of the things that I think people with small homes get um, sort of hung up on, which at least I do, is I always feel like I can't buy items that are too big. And then when I finally do bite the bullet and buy a larger item, it ends up filling the space perfectly. And so I'm trying really hard to find items that are not smaller just because I have a small home. I want statement pieces. And so because this one was 50% off, I thought it was a great time to buy this beautiful vase and use it as a statement piece. So this one's probably going to get moved around the house, but for now, I have it styled on my nine drawer cabinet with some beautiful thrifted florals and I love the way it looks. Now, the last item I wanted to share with you is actually not from Hobby Lobby, but it is a neutral everyday item and it's something that I needed for my kitchen. It's just this little white lamp from the threshold line at Target. I love having these little lamps in my kitchen. I think it warms up the space quite a bit. And right now I have a brown wood look one and also a black one, but I didn't have white. So when I saw this one for $12.99, I thought it was great because I do love the fluted edging on this. I thought that was really trendy and kind of cute for the kitchen. And then, you know, of course, having a light bright one for the spring or summer is a great addition. Now, if you don't like the idea of having a kitchen lamp, you can always use this on a, a desk um, as some task lighting um, or even as a entry table lamp if you have a smaller space and you're just trying to brighten that corner up. Um, but I'm gonna probably end up using this in the kitchen. And now that I have um, a brown, a black, and a white, I don't think I'm gonna need any more lamps for the kitchen because I think all three of those will round out the year for me just perfectly. Well guys, that's it for today's haul and shopping. I hope I showed you some items that would be helpful to you as we approach spring and summer and give you a little bit of ideas and show you my take on what I wanna do this season. I'm so glad you joined me today and I hope you will join me in the next one too. If you haven't already checked out any of my Valentine's videos, check out that one right there. It's really fun. My Valentine's decor came out super cute this year and I would love to share it with you. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.